we got we got split screen. Well, we could go to that. Our main priority is high school right now. Yeah. All right. Well, they're flipping the coin now. Uh, I'm kind of curious to see how uh, Rootstown brings their kids out. I see that uh, Bryce Edwards, a really good freshman from last year, is now up to 113. Caleb Edwards tonight will be wrestling 26. Uh, Paulus, I, I don't remember seeing a Paulus kid last year, but they have a whole bunch of good kids. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Rootstown High School and tonight's middle school and high school wrestling matches between Akron Springfield High School and Middle School, West Branch High School and Middle School, and Rootstown High School and Middle School. The mat closest to the entrance to the gymnasium is the middle school mat. It may also include some JV matches from time to time throughout the evening. The mat opposite the entrance to the gym is going to be the varsity mat for tonight's competition. We will begin with Springfield Wrestling Roots Town on both mats. Then Springfield will wrestle West Branch on both mats. And then we will end with West Branch and Roostown. At this time, would you please rise for the playing of our national anthem. Dominic Damascus from Rootstown versus Will McEwen from Rootstown. We'll see what happens here. About time we, I get to see some rough. That's right, I'm with you. Uh, 
There are a quick takedown for the rebound, kid. Trying for a cradle right away. He gets it. Nope, he got it locked. That would, that would be Will McEwen. He's getting back point. Springfield fought out of it. Great job for him. Five to nothing now. 45 seconds to go in. Oh, carried off. He got hit again. And there's a fall. Oh, let's see. 39 seconds to go in the first period, so that would be a minute and 21. It's not in Ridgetown, right off the bat. Okay, now we have uh, Bryce Edwards. Well, he kind of looks like his older brother, doesn't he? He's kind of stocky. He's wrestling uh, Dominic Hahn from Ridgetown, or from Springfield. And I hope these names are right, because I'm going off the bot boards that I'm looking at. Here they go. Pretty sure Han was a pretty good wrestler last year. I know Edwards was. I remember seeing him at the TTCs. A lot of hand fighting her, seeing who's going to be the stronger wrestler here. Thought they were going out, but they didn't. Shot by Edwards. Right, oh, there's a shot by Han. Oh, there's two, two for Edwards. And I'm afraid he scrambled there a little bit. Two to one now as Edwards gives up the escape. Shot by Hahn. Not even close. Edwards shoots. Gets around behind. Gets a leg. I'm looking at the wrong clock. <laughs> All right, two to one. It's going to be the end of the period here. down. back. No back points yet. Nothing. They're just tussling around. Edwards gets the escape. Makes it three to one. We're just joining in. Rootstown is in the blue and Springfield is in the red.
Three to one, a minute 11 to go, second period. Edwards beating Hahn. Get around behind. Good wither by Hahn. Out of bounds. 40 seconds to go. Second period. Three to one. Edwards, Ridgetown over Hahn, Ridgetown. Or Springfield. Uh-oh. Edwards in trouble now. Hahn. Steps over and oh, and you know what? They're, they're gonna call multiple points here. Looks like they're saying the score is five to five. Edwards was almost in on a takedown. Han stepped over, got a takedown and back points, and then Edwards reversed. So I don't think the score is right, but they're calling it five five. Three seconds to go, second period. All right, that's it. All right, third period's gonna see who wants it the most. And Han is on the bottom. Edwards tries to pull him down. Han's right up to his feet. Edwards brings him down. There's, there's one for Han. Makes it six to five. Shot by Edwards, Han goes out of bounds. Caution on Han. Six to five, Han Springfield over Bryce Edwards Springfield. Now, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> All right, they're wrestling anyway. A shot, Han stretches out Edwards. Edwards still gets the leg. Cross face and he's got the ankle. And can he spin around? I don't know. Edwards got that leg. There's two for Han. Makes it eight to five. Trying to spin around here. He's got the leg. But, uh, Hans actually. Okay, stalemate called. Eight seconds to go in the match. Looks like Dominic Hahn from Springfield going to win this one. He's wrestling Bryce Edwards from Rootstown. Right now it's 8 to 5. There's 8 seconds to go in the match. And uh, Han's going to get some back points. And that's just because of the desperation for Edwards. It's going to be 10 to 5. That makes the dual meet 6 to 3. Rootstown over Springfield. All right, we are at, should go up, up to what, the 120, should be 
Jacoby Watkins from Springfield against Mike Coleman from Rootstown. Quick shot by Coleman, and he, he lets Edwards up. Or no, uh, he lets up Watkins. There's two, so four to one. Looks like Watkins has been uh, drilling a lot with uh, the Edwards brothers from Rootstown. No, I don't have the grades on these kids, but I know the Rooftown kids have a great youth program. There's another takedown for Coleman. It's 10 to 4 right now. A minute, still a minute to go in the first period. And he's going to get a 10 here. First 10, Mike Coleman, Rootstown over Kobe Watkins from Springfield. All right, Rootstown's gonna get a couple bunch of forfeits here right now. This is, uh, Caleb Edwards gonna get a forfeit at 26. Tyler Paulus from uh, Rootstown getting a forfeit. At 38, we should have a match. No, because the root, well, he didn't make weight. Oh, he didn't? Okay. Uh, we'll see what happens here. It should be a 45 match. Okay. Should have been Sean Cook, but he, he weighed 145. All right. Going to be either Cook, Cook or Hamrick. I don't know which one. And this will be Cody Coons. That's Cody Coons. I know. I, I recognize him. Cody Coons from Rootstown. He's going to be wrestling. Either Sean Cook, Hamrick, or Hoagland, or Davidson from Springfield. That I don't know. Coots uh, should win this match pretty quick. I would think this is Hamrick, though I have heard that name. Coots is up from 132 last year. Pretty tough because he just got, he's about ready to get a takedown on him, and he did. Uh, I'm I'm thinking it's Josh Hamrick, but I do not know. There's a reversal for Coon, and he lets him up. Tied up right now. Three to two right now. The Springfield wrestler over Cody Coon. Boy, a nice change of pace there for the Root or Springfield wrestlers. He's not giving this match away. I wish I knew who it was so I could tell you guys. But Spring Springfield has a 38 and 345 
Three to two still, six seconds to go in a period. All right. Hey, if you got, I can't really hear with the headphones on. Yeah. If you hear a name shot, shot it out, Josh. For, oh yeah, just like old days. Yeah, okay. well, that, <laughs> that way I'll know which one I, it is. I understand. If you lift, lift. So I know who's wrestling. I'll listen, don't worry. Huh? I'll listen. I'll listen. All right, All right well, there's Yeah, that. I heard it from Josh. Huh? I heard Josh. Joshua, so this is Hamrick. That's who I thought it probably was. But I didn't know. Alright. Now so, we now we know. <laughs> yeah, it's Hamrick from uh, Springfield. He's up three to two over Coombs. And Coombs is a state-ranked wrestler by Burrow fan. Uh, he's in trouble now, though. Uh, Coombs is from a great family of wrestlers. Now it's four to two, four to three. Coombs over Hammer from Frankville. And Coombs is a rider, and there he goes. He's going to get back point. Watching it. It's probably over. There it is. All right. Cody Cook. You know, and up, up to the point. Hard fought match. Score was 43 at the point. It's a pin over Josh Hammer from Springfield. But they're 145 match. The team score right now is 36 to 3. Roofstown over Springfield. We are at 152. This would be Nick Holmes from Springfield against Mason Klein from Rootstown. Boy, Klein got big, didn't he? Yep. He was kind of like a rail last year. He, he, he looks big to me. Yep. Jump by Klein. No, no points yet. There's two. There's a Granby by Holmes, and he, he's about ready to get two. He's got to get that ankle out, though. There he does. That's, that should be two. Ties it up to two real quick. Klein's got a hold. He's trying for a Peterson and he gets it. Nope. Yeah, he got the two. That was a little quick, but he got it. He, he got the two. Four to two now. Klein from Richtown over at Davidson. Or Holmes from Richtown. And, and Klein's starting to put the pressure on. Seconds to go in the period. Four to two. Klein roots down over Davidson or Holmes from Rootstown. I don't. I don't. I actually don't think this is Holmes because he weighed in 156, so he's too heavy. It's one of these other kids. Hamrick already wrestled. So it's either, it's either Jesse Davidson or Owen Hoglin. Well, 
Yeah, good match anyway. Mason Klein, uh, he was a district qualifier last year. And I think at 132, it might have been 138. He got bigger though, I can tell. As sometimes happens to kids when they work on farms and eat. Yep. We got bigger, but in the wrong way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we, well, we don't work on farms and we're old. Yeah. <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, 20 seconds to go, first period. Four to two, flying from Roots Tower. I'm not exactly sure who he's wrestling from Springfield. If this is any indication of the last match, though, the Springfield kid played tough the first period and then he got stuck. Another three for Klein. Makes it seven to two. End of the first. All right. Roots down, Klein takes that lead down. There's a switch try by Klein. Let's get the leg. Springfield wrestler breaks it, gets back behind. Now Klein gets the leg. Klein's going to get out here, it looks like to me. And he's got with a reversal. Makes it 7 to 2. 9 to 2. A minute and a half to go, or a minute. 15 to go, second period. And Klein's going to start riding now. He's going to start trying to turn. Blood time. Dual scores 36 to 3, Rootstown over Springfield. Yeah, possibly. All right, here we go. 29 seconds to go, second carry. There's a Granby try by the Springfield wrestler. Boots thrown in by Klein. He'll try to get another couple of points. He's got wrist control, but it looks like the period's gonna end. Nine to two, Mason Klein from Rootstown. And I'm not sure who the Springfield kid is. Starting in neutral, third period. Two 
for a client. No, they didn't give it. Yeah, there it is. They give it to him now. Almost did the out of bounds line. First period, third period. Shot by Klein. He gets the leg. Now he's going for the double. Three and uh, Clyde's got the boots in. 20 seconds to go. Getting almost getting back once he's trying to. All right, that's going to be the end of it. 13 to three, Mason Clyde. I'm not sure who. He is. Springfield wrestler was, but that's going to make it uh, 40 to 3. Bridgetown over Springfield. Going into the 160 pound match. Hey, Jeff, I got to sit on that chair. This is too, too high for me. It's hurting my back. <laughs> Seriously. Okay. This is going to probably be Holmes from Springfield. He was supposed to be the 52, but didn't make way yet. And he will be wrestling uh, White. 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 Okay, White. Yeah, White's the new time. And it's two to nothing White, real quick. No, he pinned him. Huh? He pinned him. Here's a pin. Oh, he already got the pin. Yeah. That was quick. Okay, Cameron White. Uh, Cameron White is ranked in the state at 160. I see that he could make uh, 150. He did make 152 tonight. So that's something to think about for Ridgetown wrestlers. Or team facing them, especially later in the season. All right, we're at 182. We got, uh, I don't know, okay, there's a forfeit for the Rip Town wrestler, Alex Banks. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing his match against the West Branch kids. Uh, okay, we're at 195. We got Dalton Duvall. Man, these Rip Town kids either been hitting the weight from football or they're they beefed up Jim I know man well you don't see him for a year I just Dalton Ball and Gavin Stern from Springfield quick takedown by the ball two to one another uh, uh, outside single, quick takedown for another takedown for the ball. Fifty-eight to three right now is our dual meet score. Springfield against Ridgetown. There's a double leg. 
by the ball, and he gets thrown to his back. Oh. Gets the half yeah. in. And it's probably going to be over. He's not left to go in the third. No, all, all right, they called it. All right, that makes it, uh, what, 63, yep. Oh, we got one more match. It's going to be Nicholas Stewart from Springfield and da Darren Furry from Rootstown. And they're, see if they're going out or not. They must have forced them. That, that looks like the heavyweight coming out now. No, Springfield's got a kid coming out. So that's uh, Furry, Springfield. No, they're, they're, no, it's 285. So, uh, Springfield must be jumping Stewart up. Stewart's got to be No. It's over, 76 okay. to 3. West Branch versus Springfield. 113 match might be pretty good. That Han kid beat, beat Bryce Edwards. Okay, we're at 106. I better put my glasses on. I can't read it. Alright, we got uh, Will McCune from West Branch and Dominic Damascus from Springfield. That's not Hicks. Uh, yeah, you're right, you're right. Uh, no, that him. can't be Hicks. Uh, he didn't weigh in. It's got to be him. Okay. Yeah, Yeah. I didn't look at the weight. I'm sorry. That's all right. I'll let it go this time. I really don't know who it is. I'm gonna pretty much say that's McEwen. Wait, 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 wait. Let me get, let me get that. Yeah, leave that alone. The mask is from Frankfield. And McEwen from West. Hick? No, that's, that's his town, bro. In it? I, I, this is what I <laughs> All right. Yeah, that, that has to be hanged. Okay. Because uh, <laughs> Hicks weighed in at 106.4. So okay. We're, we'll figure it out. Keep the Ritztown one out of here. Yeah. All right, well, it's four to one right now. Hang has to be the only one. So that's Nate Hang. And six to two now. Hang over Damascus. And uh Damascus looks like a pretty big one of the six. I'm gonna say that hang. He's the only one to weigh in. Alright, end of one, 62, West Branch. I'm gonna say it's Nate Hang over Dominic DeMasters Springfield. And Hang's on top, and he looks like he's gonna be a tough rider. And I know I know this from watching West Branch through the years. They're gonna be throwing the boots in, trying power halves. Tight waist and near arm. West Branch. 
you're going to try cross bait. And Damascus gets up, picks him up, gets it two. Nope, he gets one. They haven't given him anything yet. And he's trying to throw. And now, hang and have him on his back. That was a weird sequence. There was not one point awarded through all that, but now Hang gets getting back. He's gonna get two at least. Three to make a 92. I'm glad we at least got rosters, Jim. Yep, I am too. We just need someone that's yeah. headphones to be listening to someone to pay the kid's name. Yeah. All right, nine to two, nine to three now, 25 seconds to go, second period. Hang from West Branch is up over the Masters from Springfield. Try for a duck under by Hang. Shot by the master. And there's a cradle. Is it locked up? It sure is. Well, end of period. They give, they give them two. Makes it 11 to 3. Started third period, and they're starting on their feet. Gets that leg again, he's got the cradle locked up again. He's gonna finish it this time. Don't look like it. The master's fighting all he can. 13 to three now, a minute and a half to go in the match. They call the fall. It was pinned by Nate Hang from Westwood. All right, now we're at 113. And this is where I don't know exactly who's going to be here for Westwood. I know it's uh, this is Dominic Khan for Root Khan. Yes. I mean for Springfield. One thirteen. It's either gonna be McBride or Hicks. Well the regard of his take down for West. should be Alex Courtney for wrestling. The only way it is is if they jump Courtney up to wrestle Edwards. 
and I have no idea. I was hoping to see that match, Courtney and Edwards. But uh, there would be uh, Cody Watkins from Springfield. There's a quick takedown to the West Branch wrestler. I'm assuming it's Courtney. He did wrestle the last one. Well, he wrestled two. At 145. Yeah, this is Yeah, he just did. Wow, he just muffled him right down. Uh, I'm not sure. He, I'm thinking this is Chris Simmons. I don't think they can call the thing out of bounds. Uh, it's going to be five to nothing. Rick, this is the kid who gave Kunt the pitch there. And yeah, took, yeah. Took the beginning. Kunt's tough. Five nothing now. I'm going to say that the hammer from Springfield over Fitzsimmons from West Branch. And Fitzsimmons is down. Springfield over Fitzsimmons. Now he's getting back. And now he goes, he goes to a reverse half and it could be over. 45 seconds. There's a fall. Hammer Springfield over Fitzsimmons West Branch. And if the names are wrong, please forgive us. But we're doing the best we can. All right, let's see. See if, uh, if Springfield sends a 152 out. And if they do, it's gonna be one of their 145s. And uh, it's probably going to be Stripler for West Branch. There's the 152. Yeah, I heard a name, but. I think he's 
hear names with the, the JV kids. Yeah. All right, well, 36 to 6 right now. West Branch. So over Springfield, uh, we're at 152. Is, uh, I'm pretty sure it's Trenton Striffler from West Branch. Springfield kid, I'm not sure about. Well, he gets the throw. He has a West Branch kid on his back. Both will fall plenty of time, but it's hard to get. Yep. Yeah, he's got to turn his back. There's the wow. fall fall. Wow. Springfield fall. Not sure who it was. All right, we're up to 60, 160. This should be a forfeit. Nope, there's two kids coming out. Be Holmes? Yeah, it's gotta be Holmes. Nicholas Holmes. And probably Blake Schmidt or Courtney, one of them too. Thirty-six to twelve now. Our dual meet score. So take out the West Bank. Yeah, this has pretty much has to be home for Ruth Center for Springfield. He weighed in at 156. So. Ooh, he tries to Peterson almost gets out of there. Two to nothing now, West Branch over Springfield. I'm thinking it's Nick Holmes. For Springfield. Come on, now there's almost a reverse of our no escape for what we're to get. There it is. Two to one. Twelve seconds to go. Ten. First period. No home. One sixty. Thirty-six to twelve. West Branch over Springfield. Riding the hip. 
Trying to get wrist control for the West Branch wrestler. Sit out by the Springfield wrestler. Hold on. 45 seconds to go in the second period. It's 2 to 1. does have good wrist control. That's the end of the first, second period. Two to one. I'm thinking this would be, uh, well, either Schmidt or Courtney for West Branch. And one of those two. And, uh, Nick Holmes for Thank you. And same thing's happening with the last period. Good ride. Now, the West Branch Reservoir gets up, he gets his one, he makes it three to one. Pops his head out, gets the two, makes it five to one. Seconds to go in the match, five to one. The West Branch wrestler, and I hate to try to say their names because I'm not sure who it is, but he's kind of handling the Springfield wrestler home. He's riding him tough. And he's trying to get a turn and he gets, no, he, he doesn't yet. Looks like he's not going to get it. Five seconds to go. The match is almost over. And that would be it. Doesn't look like either team uh, West Face can put out uh, a 7 Who did I say to begin with? 182 Brink. Right. Well, yeah, yeah, there's 170 before that. You didn't think anybody would be there. Well, there's no, but uh, West Branch has a couple. There, it was forfeit, see? Yeah. I just don't know who, which one it was. All right, we're going to 182. West Branch wins by forfeit, 45 to 12. Our dual meet score. We're at 182, and uh -oh. West Branch is going to get forfeit. a forfeit. Wow, okay. All right, so we so improvise. 195. Okay. That, I already can tell you that's Stephen Amara for West Branch. And he's going to be wrestling Gavin Stern from Springfield. Very pretty tough. He's the younger brother of uh, the number one ranked kid, Kenny Morrow. 
in the state. He'll make some noise down in Columbus if we get down there again this year. Yeah, we will. Yeah, I hope we do. Here's a, we will. a single leg, and he's got him on his back. And that's and that it. Over. All right, now Kenny Mara. And uh, if Springfield sends a kid out, he's got Nicholas Stewart. Stewart. This is not, uh, that's not Kenny Mara. Say that's male. And it's gotta be Stewart. No, they're close. Okay. Alright, I told you we'd get home early. Yeah. Well the next match is gonna be every everybody's gonna wrestle. I don't see no force of them. Alright, 70 to 12. 70 to 12 is our dual meet score. Springfield against Ridgetown. Rootstown against West Branch. I'm seeing Nick Hang from West Branch. And Will McEwen from Rootstown. Go. And I'm looking for uh, bonus points to make the difference in this match. We got a really good D3 team against a really good D2 team here, but you know what those divisions don't matter in the rest. There's a take that well, he's got the cradle hook up hang does the left branch. He gets the two. He's trying to he's trying to get a oh he gets almost like a toe to get too high. Now McEwen is on top. Uh oh. A lot of action here. No points, but a lot of rolling around. I like that. All right. Two to nothing. Hang from West Branch over McEwen from Roots Town. With, with these uh, headphones on, I can't hear the crowd, so I'm trying to figure out if, if there's some wrestlers that I get the names wrong, but I'm, I'm sure they're just a hang. You know. All right, two to nothing, a minute to go, first period. And hang is on top. He's got a hold of the arm, putting pressure on. He finally drops his hips behind. Hewen trying to stand up. He's got to, he's got to get to his base and, and get rid of that wrist control that Hank has. Now we got 20 seconds to go for a period. Five seconds to go. That's going to be the end of the first. Well, there's one second to go. A penalty point. Or no, that one was Gabe. They finally gave it. All right, that's the end of the period. Richtown gets chooses down, which would be McEwen. Quick sit out try by McEwen. Hang gets that wrist. Trying to get it. Just riding the hip and holding the wrist. Not a lot of action. He's got he's got McEwen. Hang has McEwen flat on the mat. 
He's doing trying to get it back up to his base. Get his hips off the mat. Cradle try by Hang. A little premature. back to where they started. And Hang kicks him out, makes it 2-2. Got 50 seconds to go, second period, tied up. And a shot by Hang. He gets a single, oh. picks up, Whoa. down, there's two. Well, they don't award it yet. Now he's got a cradle locked up to get the two and back point. Uh-oh, uh-oh. And there's a fall. Oh. Hang from West Branch. Over in Kewen from Rootstown. All right. That, that was either uh, this one probably going to be Tyler Hicks if you hear the name. Right. Uh, because he is either Hang or Hicks at reference for West Branch. But this will be Bryce Edwards. Oh, they get a forfeit. Oh, wow. Okay. Wow. So, we're at 120. And this will be Coleman for Richpound. And I am just going to assume, let me see who West Branch sticks out here. This, I think this is Alex Courtney. He's pretty good. And from what I saw of Coleman in the last match, he's pretty good too. Coleman gets a quick two. No, no takedown yet. Maybe this is a Courtney. But I'm sure that this is Coleman for this time. There's two points awarded for Coleman. Now he's got that. And it's 10. Wow. All right, I'm looking at West Branch line up here. That could have been Chapman. Let me see what happens in this next match. I I could be wrong, but I told you that, that whoever Coleman wrestled, Coleman looks tough. Yep. Now this is Caleb Edwards for sure for Rootstown. Can't miss him. And this is it Kaufman? This is uh, either Courtney or Chapman. Not Kaufman? No, or it could be Kaufman. Yeah, I'm looking at the weights they weighed in at. There's a quick. Wow. Well, no, there's Whoa. A, Edward Edwards has always been quick off the gun. Two nothing, Edwards. Is cool. team, team score right now is 12 to 6. West Branch over Ridgetown. All right, 2 to 1 now. 4 to 1. Six to two now. Can't keep up. You got blood. You got blood on the West Branch wrestler. I would have liked to have seen the results last year in Columbus and seen what Edwards could have done down there. But he's always been, he finished third, I think, two years in a row. But he's never been ranked number one, and, well, he's never won it. But this year at 120, as far as Burrow fan, they had him at number four. So them other, those, uh, that's at 120. Right. Those other three kids must be pretty damn tough. Yep. 
Edward Edwards, is, if you guys are, well, I'm sure you're watching, uh, he likes to establish main control of the match. He's almost like a bully out there. But that's what wrestling's about. You know, you, you just let, tell the, uh, let the other kid know I'm the boss, and that's what he does. No points. Six to three, though, with all takedowns for Edwards and three escapes for the West Branch wrestler. We got uh, potentially dangerous there. Still six three. Team-wise, he needs to get a pen here. And he's going for it now. You have it, the ref, right there. Got him close. And they call it. Right at the end of the first period, Caleb Edwards with a fall over the West Branch wrestler. All right, 132, we got uh, Tyler Paulus. Yeah, that's one thing that Rootstown's missing today. I just noticed it's trickle. Yeah, and, I uh, seen him. He's on the sideline. Well, this is Tyler Paulus from Rootstown. And he might get a fourth. No, West Branch is sending, sending the kid out. It's, it's one of these kids. I don't know. It's Blanchard. Hoffman or Bonnet. Or Wells. Or Wells. A quick takedown for Paula. 12 12 our dual meet score. Yeah, but I don't know. I hope Prickle doesn't have an injury. There's a cradle, cradle for Paula. Almost. He's trying to throw in the boots now. And he's got, looking for a pin. Boy, he's gonna get it here. So, well, he's a little high. And he did. He said it's gonna be four to nothing. Not gonna give him three, so it's five nothing right now. Paulus over one of, over the West Branch wrestler. He maintains control after the scramble. Goes in a boot. We still got a minute left in this first period. He throws in a power half. He's getting back points again. And he's gonna get the fall here. And they get 18-12 to goal meet score going into 138. 138, we got young blood for Roots Town. And uh, uh, West Branch is sending a kid out, so I would think this would probably be well. I'm not positive because they don't have anybody weighing in above 130 until you get into 145. There's a quick single pick. Not perfect, but he gets the two for young blood. Now he power half and he throws the West Branch wrestler right on his back. Yeah, and he gives it away. Five nut now. Oh, they only give him two, four nothing. Four one. Going back to their feet. 18-12, Rootstown over West Branch in a dual meet score. We're at 138. Every match has been a fall so far, Jim. Yeah. What do we got? We got blood on the West Branch. He's got a cut on his elbow. That'll be easy to fix. A little bit of tape. Let him get back on the mat.
This was a dual meet that I figured would be the one of the night. Uh, no offense to Springfield, they just, they just had too many forfeits to compete. But they had some kids look really tough tonight. I was impressed with their 106. And their 145 tonight. They, they both look really good. All right, we're getting back to match here. It's four to one, a minute 24 to go, first period. We have young blood. No, that's not young blood. He said, he said he's 138, but he yep. weighed in at 139. So well, we're just well gonna anyway, go with that. They, we got young blood at 138. That's what. Uh, I'm looking at what the coach gave us, I'm, but then I'm looking at the actual weight. I don't think they they got any pounds yet this year. You would know more than me. Is this, is this young blood or Paula? It's not Paula's. Okay. Paula's got, wrestled before. Yeah, it's got to be young, young blood. Man. All right, they're giving us. He's going to give up the point. One twenty. First period is still a minute 20 to go. It's four to two. There's a double leg by Youngblood. And he's trying to go right to the back. He gets the two, makes it six to two. And no back points yet. Nothing. A minute to go, first period. Throws in the double boot. And that can be painful. Trying to get the turn here. He's close to getting back point. There he's getting back point. 30 seconds to go in the first. All right, he's going to get two, maybe three. Giving him two makes it eight to two. 15 seconds to go in the period. Really go. He's getting more back. In five seconds to go. Can he get the fall? Yeah, looks like he's. Well, he didn't get it. But he's going to get another three. Make it 11 to 2. And he's going to defer. All right, Roofstown goes down. Second period starting at 11 to 2. Young Blood from Rootstown over West Branch. Uh, I'm thinking, I, I really don't know. There's uh, four guys that could be. Could be. Young Blood gets his cake, 12 to. Take down to the back. This is going to be a match right here if we don't get the ball. And he's squeezing, he's going to get it right here. There it is. All right, 24 12 West Branch going into 145. We got uh, um, Cody Coops from Rootstown. And that's definitely Cody Coops. And I'm looking at Fitzsimmons from West Branch. Shot by Fitzsimmons. Who spins around, gets two, and kicks him out. Two to one. Outside single into a cradle. This could be a, no, he lets it go. Four to one. And he kicks him out again. There's another single. Now, well, I think he just wants to get some mat time. 
62, 63 now. There's another two for Coons. Nope, he didn't get the two. He gave up there. There's a duck under to the back. winning this duel right now. Every match has been by 10. Now it's 11 to 3 with a minute to go in the first period. Pink on top. And wrestling six seven from Wesley. And there he gets the fall. 32 to 12. And we go to 152. Now, I don't, oh, Fur, no, this is, Richtown doesn't have a fit. Well, they've got someone out here. That's Klein. Yeah, Mason Klein. And he would be wrestling Stripler from West Branch. Well, Klein must have hurt his knee, because that's what heck of a brace he's got on. And they didn't give him the takedown there. Every match so far has been by 10. There's a nice duck under by Klein and he gets two. Nice duck under. He set that up well. All right, four to one now. 35 seconds to go, first period. Line on top. The Simmons from West Branch, or St Striffler for, for West Branch on the bottom. And uh, Klein trying for a tilt, and Ooh. he gets nothing there. He gets the one count white. Nothing yet. All right, he got two. Makes it six to one. Klein's riding tough. You got five seconds to go in the first period. It's gonna end up six to one. Richtown's running away with this thing, Jim. Well, you said it'd stack up early. Well, I didn't think it would be this bad, though. Well, Richtown's got some tough kids in the higher weights. They got uh, White, Duvall. White, Banks, and Duvall are all tough. Locking hands on uh, the West Branch wrestler, uh, Stripler. Yeah. Both of the matches are good. Hopefully we got something good to watch. They're all good, though. That's right. I haven't seen none any all year. All right, a minute. Just starting the second period. Seven to one. Mitch Klein. Mason Klein from uh, Rootstown over Trenton Striffler from West Branch. Now 
All right, we get the escape, so it's seven to two. Eight, oh wait, eight to one. Uh, yeah. All right, there's another shot by Klein. He's working hard. And uh, Klein does have a bigger brace on that knee. It must be hurting him, I see. He's adjusting it or something. Eight to one, a minute 12 to go, second period. Mason Klein, Rootstown, over Trenton Stripler, West Branch. I think that's bionic. Huh? I think it's a bionic. A bionic leg? leg? Yeah. Well, it's like a six million dollar man thing. Uh, yeah, you got that at Northeast Ohio College of Medicine. That's right, right he's across, right across the school. <laughs> yeah. he, he's an experiment. That's huh? right. <laughs> I'm really impressed with Bridgetown, though. Uh, I mean, uh, I, I've been watching West Branch wrestle for a long time. They're going to hand it to him today. All right, Klein, the dresser here. Throw by, shoots the double, single, he gets a two, makes it 10 to one. 50 seconds to go, second period. We haven't had a match here end in a decision or major decision or tech ball yet. They've all been tense. Riding tough, he's really shown good riding skills here. He's got great wrist control. It's, it's all the all the wrist time wrestlers have so far. Trying to get a bar. Getting ready, ready to get the third. Oh, and a ball. Wow. All right, 32 seconds left in the second period. Mason Klein gets the ball over. Stripler from West Branch. All right, now you're up at 160. We got uh, Cameron White from Rootstown, who weighed in at 152, by the way. Huh. Just for anyone up, out there, like Burl fan, wants to know, he did weigh in at 52. I got the bot weight sheet right here. Uh, I'm figuring he's wrestling. But it's either Clayton Courtney or Blake Schmidt. A quick. Well, nothing yet. They're out of bounds. <coughs> All right, to the. Nice high crotch by uh, White. He gets a two, and he's trying to power half already, right off the bat. And it looks like he's gonna, he's gonna get it. Ooh, man. Jeez. There's a fall quickly, 160. So that makes it 42 to 12. Roots down over West Branch. Every match by fall so far. 170. We're going to have Shope from Rootstown, and he's no slouch either. I remember watching him last year. And I'm, it's either going to be Brink or Holt for West Branch. I don't know. I'm going to have to say. I, I have no idea. That's it. We're going to go with Brink. Yeah, go with Brink. Now, there's a nice throw by by uh, Schultz. Schultz. Quick to. Well, I'm going to tell you, Rootstown is just kicking butt. They're super aggressive. Very aggressive. I'm, I'm very impressed with them, Jim. 
So am I. No, you I mean what respect what branch is not they're like, they're a tough team. They're well coached. Yeah. Uh, they're just out man tonight. We'll see what happens in these last few minutes. But uh, this this uh, dual meet's already got out of hand. Double leg by Show. Is that how you pronounce his name? Yeah, uh, everybody can. Show. We've got back point. Uh, seven to one with a minute still to go in the first period. Boy, with uh, with White weighing in at 52, Klein can get down to 45. I'm looking at there. Yeah. Klein to 45, uh, White at 52, and Choke can actually get down to 160. He can get. His final weight could be 155. The ball can go to get down to 60. Something's going to happen with between them. One of them will go 170. And uh, yeah, I'm just looking at Rootstown's lineup ahead here. This right now it's seven to one. 30 seconds to go, first period. Rootstown's going to have a lot tougher team than people think. Uh, I've been very impressed with them. They, uh, right now, I haven't seen a weakness. They got tough kids at every weight. We got uh, Spencer Schoep right now at 170. He's up 7 to 1 at the end of 1. I'm not sure who he's wrestling for West Ridge. Either. Dustin Hilton or Hudson Brink. We need names on the back here. Rootstown does have them on there. Do they? I think they're right. Yeah. All right, seven to one. Start of second. Yeah, I think some of them did, but I don't see them on those. And there's a, well, Schultz gets up right away. It looks like he's gonna try a throw. He gets the one, he makes it eight oh. one. One minute 40 to go, first period, second period. Rootstown up 42 to 12 in this goal. Uh, oh, there's two for the West Branch wrestler. Makes it 8 to 3. Trying to get up off the bottom from root for rich time. But, uh, he's getting ridden pretty hard. Oh, he gets the one. Makes it nine to four, nine to three. We've got a minute to go, second period. There's a nice double leg, but are they gonna go out there out of bounds? You might be getting a little gas. He's still up nine to three. Thirty seconds to go. Another try. Another throw by duck under. Now he's got a bear hug. All right. West French wrestler is starting to get aggressive. 
Out of bounds again. 18 seconds to go, second period, 9 to 3. Show from Rootstown over West Branch Wrestler, either Brink or Halton. Now we got injury time. against the kids, but I think he's just tired. Second period. Choke from Rootstown up over West Branch Wrestler. 170 pounds, 42 to 12 is our dual meet for Rootstown running away with this one. That's going to be the end of the period, no action. All right, we start the third. West Branch Wrestler choosing us down. Yeah. Shope from Rootstown dominated his first period. The second period started getting a little closer. Let's see what happens in the third. Up and almost out, but nothing. Wrestler is down. Not able to get to his base. Hope's got a good control. That's Wrestler trying to get to his base. A minute and a half to go in a match. Nine to three. Hope's trying to get a tilt there. Doesn't go. He's got a boot in though. Our half. No points. Not the clock, though. A minute to go. Nine to three. So from Rich down over. Great, I'm thinking. Or Holton from West. Riding tough. Always got to do. 30 seconds to go in a match. Western Prince was trying to get back to the base. And there's 15 seconds to go. Looks like Shope's going to ride him out for the win. 9 to 3. This will be our first decision of the night. We're at 170 pounds. That's going to make it 45 to 12, Rootstown. We move on to 182. And now we got Alex Banks from Rootstown. Yeah, I might have spoke a little too soon because after looking at Rootstown lineup, they got. They're tough all the way through their lineup. Banks, Shope, Duvall, Cameron White. Wow. They're going to be a force, especially in the PTC. All right, we got uh, this is Alex Banks and I think it's Brink. Peyton Brink is who I'm figuring is West Branch wrestler. Banks gets a quick two.
All right, four to one. And Banks handling him, trying to get a cradle. Got it locked up now. Holy man. That's a ball. Jeez. All right. Make it uh, 51 to 12. All right. Now we're at, uh, there should have been 82 right there. 95. Here it is. It should be the match of the night, I'm thinking. Oh, oh we may give West Branch a forfeit. Richtown does. Wow. I wanted to see that match. I wanted to see the ball against uh, Steven Mara. All right, now we're at 220. This is Kenny Mara versus, uh, that's not the ball. This, has to be Darren Fury. Furry. Yeah. So, uh, why do you think that happened? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is uh, Kenny Mara. And, and he's the number one ranked kid in the state at 220 in Division Two. I can't, let's see. Yeah, they don't. I remember watching him at district last year. I don't see anyone else at West Branch put on. They do have a heavyweight that only weighed in at 217. Uh oh. No. There oh, goes. that's over. All right. Well, that makes it 51 to 24. Yeah. Uh, all right, we're at heavyweight. They're showing a top from West Branch. And no, that's uh that's Ritzdown. Oh, Tob from Ritzdown. And I'm gonna think this is male from West Branch or Rockwell, it's one or the other. The Ritzdown's heavyweight Tob unless this is furry, but uh, he only weighed in at 217. You don't know yet which one's which. We haven't seen anything all year, so it's hard to know. But 51-24, we're at 285, first period. We're at the heavyweight. And Rootstown ran away with this. I am, I gotta say, I'm very impressed with their team. Where's the heavyweight? No score. Minutes go. First period. This is either Mayo or Rockwell or West Branch. Or it actually could be Jackson. We, do, we have the weigh-in sheets, but I don't know the wrestlers that well yet. Something's gonna happen in this one, so. West Branch gets two. Thank you.